Ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ay moment of a force. Moment is a measure of capacity or ability of the force to produce twisting or turning effect about an axis. So this force F will rotate in our axis. This axis here, as you can see in the figure, this is the axis Y. This axis is perpendicular to the plane. We're in this plane, ay ito yung plane na to. This plane is containing the force. And in this case, the force is the force F. The magnitude of the moment is equal to the product of the force and the perpendicular distance from the axis to the line of action of the force. So if this is the force, the moment can be computed as the product of the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So, we highlight the word perpendicular. So, the distance that you will be using must be perpendicular to the force. And it is measured from the force to the axis. The intersection of the plane and the axis is called the moment center. So this point here is called the moment center. And the perpendicular distance from the moment center to the line of action of the force can here denoted as D. This is referred to as the moment arm. What if the force is not horizontal or is not vertical? So meaning, if we are taking the moment at the origin, the definition says that this force F here, in order for us to compete for the moment, the force must be multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the moment center. Now, the moment center here is point O. Since we are asked to compute for the moment created by the force F with respect to point O. Now, if we are going to stick with the definition, the moment is the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. And in this case, this is the perpendicular distance. Now, since that would be complicated in determining that perpendicular distance, what we are going to apply here is we will be making use of the components. So instead of using the force F, we will be using the Fx and the Fy, the Y component. Now in this case, the moment to be created, is this is equal to the summation of the product of the force and the distance considering the components now considering the f of x the perpendicular distance to point o from the f of x is this this distance here is the perpendicular distance from fx and for fy this distance here is the perpendicular distance in computing for the moment created by force f with respect to point O is equal to the sum of the moment created by the components of the force. So that would be Fx. Now we will set the sign convention. For the clockwise moment, we are taking it as positive moment. So therefore, the clockwise is positive and the counterclockwise moment is negative. So in this case, moment of fx with respect to point O, this fx here will rotate clockwise with respect to point O. So therefore, the fx will create a passive moment. And Fy here 
will rotate counterclockwise with respect to point O. And this moment here created by Fy is negative. Now if we are going to compute for the moment created by force F, that would be the summation of the moment created by the components. So for Fx, since we already know that it will create a clockwise rotation and that's a positive moment, so that is Fx multiplied by the perpendicular distance of fx to point O, which is equal to y. And this is the distance y. And the fy here will create a counterclockwise rotation, so that's negative fy. And the perpendicular distance of fy to point O is the distance d. So the answer for this is also equal to the force times distance if we are going to consider the force in the perpendicular distance. Now we're going to determine whether the components will create a clockwise rotation or a counterclockwise rotation based on the location of the force and the moment center. So if we are taking the moment at point O here, Let's take first the quadrant one. So the moment here that we are computing will be created by this force Fx here. So if we are taking the moment here, then in this case, the Fx will create a clockwise rotation. And of course, this is the perpendicular distance to Fy. But if the component of the force is directed to the left, and we are taking moment here at point O, this Fx here will create a counterclockwise rotation. This Fx directed to the left in quadrant 1 will create a negative moment. Now if we have this Fy directed upward in quadrant 1, and we are taking moment here at point O, This Fy here will create a counterclockwise rotation since dito natin siya pinapaikot sa point O. And that's negative. Now, if the force Fy is directed downward in quadrant 1, this will create a clockwise rotation with respect to point O and this will create a positive moment. What about the component of the force can be found in quadrant 2? So if we have here this fx, then we are taking moment here, then this fx here will create a clockwise rotation, and therefore fx will create a positive moment. And if the component or the horizontal component is directed to the left in quadrant 2, this will create a counterclockwise rotation with respect to point O. So therefore, this Fx will create a negative moment. If we have here the Fy directed upward in quadrant 2, this Fy here will create a clockwise rotation with respect to point O. So therefore, this Fy in quadrant 2 directed upward will create a passive moment. And if we have the Fy directed downward in quadrant 2, then this will create a counterclockwise rotation with respect to point O. So meaning this Fy here will create a negative moment. What if we are taking the moment of the components of the force here in quadrant 3? If Fx is directed to the right, this fx will rotate counterclockwise with respect to point O. So therefore, fx will create a negative moment. If we have the force directed to the left in quadrant 3, fx here will rotate clockwise with respect to point O. So therefore, fx will create a positive moment. And if we have here the vertical force upward in quadrant 3, this will create a clockwise rotation with respect to point O. 
and this will create a positive moment. And if we have the Fy directed downward in quadrant 3, then this will create a counterclockwise rotation. And this will create a negative moment. If we have the force directed to the right in quadrant 4, this Fx here will rotate counterclockwise, so therefore Fx will create a negative moment. If we have the force directed to the left in quadrant 4, this will rotate the clockwise rotation with respect to point O. So therefore, this will create a positive moment. If we have the force directed upward here in quadrant 4, this will create a counterclockwise rotation with respect to point O. So meaning, Fy here will create a negative moment. What if we have the force here directed downward in quadrant 4? So this Fy here will rotate in a clockwise rotation. So therefore, this Fy here will rotate positive and create a positive moment. Now for the distance, we should remember that the distance to be considered must be perpendicular to the force. So we are taking the moment here at point O. And we are considering this fx here. The perpendicular distance to the point O is this distance here of fx from the x-axis. And the same with this fx here. For the fy, the perpendicular distance of fy, both this fy here and this fy, the perpendicular distance is this distance from the y axis and that's the perpendicular distance from point L. So the same with this, this is the perpendicular distance of Fy here from the origin and this is the perpendicular distance to the origin. The same with this of the vertical forces in quadrant 4. This is the perpendicular distance. And for this, the perpendicular distance is this. And for this in quadrant 3, this is the perpendicular distance. And in quadrant 4, this is the perpendicular distance to be considered. Since marami pa rin yung nalil dito, kung paano natin i-determine whether the force will create a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation. So, dito, ang ginagamit ko, uh, you can make use of a ball pen or pencil uh, directly sa papel para ma-determine mo kung paano siya mag -re rotate So, the first thing na gagawin natin is, ano ba o saan ang perpendicular distance ng force na kinoconsider natin? So, halimbawa, in this case, we are considering this Fx. Since yung Fx na to, nakikita natin dyan, that is horizontal. So, meaning, ang perpendicular distance ng F papunta dito sa point of origin natin, is vertical. So, ito, yung stick na to, yun yung perpendicular distance natin papunta dito sa fx. So, i-consider natin so, i-consider natin ngayon yung fx as, since that is horizontal. Itong pencil na to ay gagamitin ko to represent the fx. So, ngayon, itong axis na to, no? ito yung, yung perpendicular distance natin, itutulak lang natin siya since fx is directed to the right. So, itutulak natin siya to the right. And as you can see, itong stick natin is rotating clockwise. So, therefore, this will create a clockwise rotation. Now, para dito sa Fy, since your, F, since your Fy here is vertical, so meaning dito, consider natin yung horizontal na distance. Because the horizontal distance is perpendicular to this Fy here. So, since Fy is upward, so therefore, itutulak natin siya pataas and that will create a counterclockwise rotation. So, therefore, Fy will create a negative moment. So, what if si Fx is directed to the left? Kung si Fx is directed to the left and this would be the perpendicular distance, ibig sabihin, tutusukin lang natin ito yung ating stick to the left kasi yun yung representation ng f of x to the left. So as you can see, 
yung stick natin ay nagro-rotate ng counterclockwise. No? And if your FY is directed downward, then the perpendicular distance to FY is horizontal. So, horizontal to. And then, tutusukin lang natin siya pababa. And that is clockwise rotation. No? So, ang tawag ko dito ay tuslok-tuslok system. Sa Tagalog, that's tusok-tusok. Okay, so I hope that this will help. Sa mga to, as you can see, itong FX na to at itong FX na to ay pareho yung direction. No? So, pareho silang horizontal and this will create no? so, ang consider natin dito ay yung vertical na axis. So, since pareho silang directed to the right, so itutulak nila yung stick natin to the right. So, that will create a clockwise rotation. And as you can see here, we have the positive moment. And in here, you have also the positive moment. Now, for this FX na to, directed to the left. And this is also directed to the left. So, ibig sabihin, ititulak nila yung stick natin pa kaliwa. And this will rotate counterclockwise. And as you can see here, we have negative moment here and a negative moment here. Now, for FY, makikita natin dito na itong FY na to at itong FY na to ay pareho siyang upward. So, since pareho siyang upward, yung consider natin dito is the axis. So, for this case, ito yung axis natin, ito yung, ito yung distance natin perpendicular to this. So, itutulak nyo ito pataas and it'll rotate clockwise. No? So, for this FY here, itutulak nyo pababa. So, therefore, this is counter. So, therefore, ito ay negative. Kung ito naman ay pataas, so pareho lang siya ng case nito. Itutulak nyo ito pataas, then that will rotate clockwise. So, therefore, this is positive. And for this, so since itutulak nyo pababa, that will rotate counterclockwise. So, therefore, this is negative here. So, how about the FY dito sa kanan? So, for the FY sa kanan, kung titingnan natin dito, ito yung FY na to ay pataas. So therefore, itutulak nyo ito pataas and it rotate. And it will rotate counterclockwise, so therefore this is negative. The same with this, tutulak nyo ito pataas, so therefore this is counterclockwise. And this, so this is, so this should be clockwise. And for this, since downward siya, so that would be clockwise. The same with this, clockwise siya. And for this, so mga horizontal naman tayo dito sa baba. So, ito siya. And, kung pa kanan, itong dalawang to, tutulak natin siya pa kanan, then that would be counterclockwise. So, therefore, negative to mga to. At ito, pakaliwa, that's counterclockwise.